What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. This is episode 5. So episode 3 definitely was a little bit too short I think. Episode 4 might have been a little bit too long. So we're just still trying to figure out the balance of where you guys want. What is going on here? Uh, is he just tied up? Or is he taking like your plate when you're done. Oh Don't no he is. With me, please. All right, we're good. Okay. So, we finished off last episode where we just got into our little new camp. So now we gotta figure out where we're going. What are we gonna do? Your beard is getting long, you can use the shaving. Nah, I'm gonna keep that beard. Uh, but either way, how are you guys everybody doing? How is everybody doing here? Uh, how are you guys doing? Excuse me. Jeez, I am a little bit tired, I guess. Um, guns. Do we have any guns? Just items right now, okay. I thought one of these was under our tent. It's our tent? No, it's the barber stuff. Which one's our tent? Morning, Arthur. I, uh, I don't know which one's our tent. Maybe that one? I know it had like a bed and everything on it. No, no, not that, not that. Where the heck is our tent? Good morning, Arthur. Morning, buddy. Is this what it is? Yeah, this is it. Um, uh, I think. Wondering why I'm still showing up my keyboard, but okay. So where are we gonna go? Where's our map? Hey. Come on. What's going on here? Can't select A for some reason. That is very weird. Let me have a look at our settings. Because our controller should be... Yeah, I can't do A. What in the world is going on here? Uh, standard, yeah, that's fine. So the controller works right here for no problems. Move the mouse out of the way. Um, That works. Okay. Well, whatever. Okay. I guess we will. Uh, Good morning, Arthur. Do I get to my horse again? No. So that's. I don't know what that is. Map. Uh, Come on. Okay. He won't follow me from some of the camp. Now, which one's our horse? That's what I don't know. What is this? Oh, this dude. Uncle. Ow! Oh, oh, oh. Wake Careful up the uncle. not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive. You get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? <laughs> sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. <sighs> you gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Well, what <laughs> you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a ride, and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. Hey, 
<laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, yeah. It's Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> Ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yep. Pick a left. Lady, that's a song. No hands for the hero she be seen. Oh, what's this? Horse carriage? Is the highway or something? Look at that coach! He's all over the place! Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Oh, I got lumbago. Very serious. Okay, how do I get off? All right, I'll see what's going on. Let me go, really. You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? See what I can do. Whoa there, easy. On horsey. Well, I don't know why the keyboard is showing up even though I have my controller on them on the controller. This is, this is just really weird. Here, here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. You're very welcome. Can we go now? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Not meant to smack the horse. Let me get back on here. I mean, can you do another old fella a favor get back on the damn wagon? I'm trying. Enough showing off. There we go. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. Let me get off this into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse vote lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Go left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, right, you can't go that yes. fast down here. We can get street. up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. What's the matter with you? Calm down. All right. Here we are, just like I said. Cultural center of civilization. <laughs> 
man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. I imagine Paris and so that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> but I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No, Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Sign. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Full stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Why can I not You're do not anything? Getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Shopkeep, hey. Okay. What do they got? So, you're actually buying for once? Are you <sighs> feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Man, I know what the smell is. Oh my is. god, that's, well, so that's a ripe cheese, all right. There we go. That we have for some of us, huh? There we go. Okay, so right page. Yeah, canned food, all fresh done. goods. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. Provisions. That should do it. Let's go wait for them outside. Dry goods. And coffee, eh? Ground coffee. Once brewed, throw stamina and dead egg here. Okay. It's for a dollar. You know, I'll buy that. All the best, fellas. And uh, what else have you got? Uh, let's go back one more. Let's go. Provisions, tonics, ammunition, hunting, fishing. Let's see, what does he have for hunting and fishing? Arrows. Okay. How about if we go to clothing? Does he have anything good? Ooh, outfits, hats, shirts, vests, pants, boots, accessories. What do they have for outfits? 85 bucks. Jeez, no. Hats. Oh, it can be some fancy guys. 115. Yeah, okay. How about I'll look one more thing. Good old accessories. Boots, frontless boots. Rifleman gloves, riding gloves. Next page. Nothing cool. Nothing cool. Yeah, nothing. Okay, we're good. Thanks, Chief. Got everything we need. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. Well, that goes time in my girls. career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. 
train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in their new Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel, they were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. What's going on here? You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! I've been looking too long. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right wait now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. You are welcome. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Okay, that's locked. That's uh, a hell of a thing. Come Let's on, have a look at this hotel. Can I help you, sir? I, d I do all I can manage. Are you doing all you can? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather, mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. I see how it is. Umbrella. No trouble now, please. I got you, man. Don't worry. To hit her, you goddamn animal. Come here. Oh, really? Ooh. Next time, avoid me. What the hell are you doing? That's here? all it took. Trying to play him, not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just me and. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Bank. Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. Yes, sir. You got nothing After to you. worry about. Jeez, he Thank had you, a times. What an I don't much like being saved, but. When I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched oh. me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. <sighs> All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, get my horse. Just following it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Why 
Are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now, please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now, please pull me up. Please. What do we I do? I made a mistake. I'm sorry. All right. Oh, let's Come go. on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here, you want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh, that's very kind of you. Hmm. A steel pen. But I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I, I got you, Jimmy Brooks. That. I've got a good memory. I... Yes, save it. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. You too, ma'am. You yeah. take her easy. Now where that horse go? There he is. Ah, let's run that, turn that horse. City here somewhere. Alright, so there's the hotel. Hey! Horse! Am I glad to see you? Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. Alright, this is our group. Midwife up and left town. No one knows where. Next closest is. Hey, mister. What are you doing out there? Hello, mister. Alright, what do we got here? There's something in here. <laughs> hey! All right, there we go. Oh, Arthur, Arthur, come here, come here, come over here. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it well, easy, Are you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? 
Oh, oh it's, it's a bar fight. <laughs> you actually hold people back? Come here, you little creaser. Ah, I don't know. Here it comes. Yeah, I get like a girl. Get the hell off of me. Get off, man. Sir, you won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Sorry, man. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well. I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, oh, I got quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always... A pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay mm. them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find Ooh. out what you can, carefully. They want Josiah, Dutch. take Javier. Arthur. They don't want us. Go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. Hopefully, oh, Arthur's lost his hat. Oh, I want to find my hat. 
I'll be in here somewhere. There it is. See my hat back. All right, so what do we got here? So they left, left the horse wagon without us. Oh man, let's see, map. We are there. There's a mission in here. Okay, I guess that's where we're going. I wonder if that's actually the right way. Yeah, there is. Okay, there's stuff in here. What's... Give a fella a nickel. Give me a dime. Give me something. Vampires. I just want to get a drink. I'm parched. Hey, mister. Give a fella How does a nickel. Uh, oh, so there we go. I just hey, saw it. Brother. Okay, so what do we got here? Oatmeal, pork. Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history. Done and dusted. The dead got off lucky. The living got to keep suffering. Same as always. But did you shoot the Newton twins? I don't give a pig's penis about the Newton twins. One of them was a girl, anyhow. But you had been friends back in 73. You rode the Alabaster Trail together. Funny thing about pig's penises. They're curly, like their tails. Who's your friend there? Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. <laughs> the Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write <laughs> his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. OK, then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book. I've got to make a thing of it, and, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Calloway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you pay? <laughs> well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Hmm. Here are some that other could be a good side outs. mission. That could be a really good side mission. Spike document. So, what do we got here? Uh, let's flip. And read. Uh, the Grand Dame of the Gunslinger is the Dynamite Dower. Dowager. Mm -hmm. Yep! 
sighting in near Blue Water Marsh. Okay, uh, now go back. That's been marked my location. Have this one. Let's flip and read. Unbelievable. I heard your settings at a road train station. Ask for him there. Alright. Next up, that one. Flip. Let's see with caution. And one more. There you go. Guy just looks like a hillbilly. Suspect, report rumor, suspect, witness, why? Okay. Alrighty. We have all that taken care of. Let's have a look and see. Our map. So we are there. There's a gunsmith right there. Hmm. Should we go visit the gunsmith while we're here? Because the other people... There's a few people back there. Lake Isabella. That's one. Laco Hernandez. Nobody beside us here? Oh, there's one right there. Hmm, okay. That could be a good side. Okay, well, let's go visit the gunsmith. While we're here. Hello, sir. Oh, sorry. Good thing about the law when it's kept, ain't nothing more to do. You're new to the shop? Well, I use this space as a blacksmith, too, okay. so let me know if you need me to grab something for you from the catalog. All right, let's. Oh, wait. You're that fellow who had to fight with Tommy outside of Smithfields? <sighs> yep. People are still talking about that fight. Hi. Hey, Peter. Yeah, fair enough. Now there's Tommy. Ooh. Anyway, how can I help you today? Expensive. It was zero dollars. Uh, yes. I will take that. Uh, components. Barrel. What do we got here? Rifling. Improved rifling. Range more. Uh, how about iron sights? Five bucks. I don't have that much money. Scope. Ah, that should be good. Styles. Yeah, we don't want to do the styles yet because we're not sure if we're going to keep this. Ammunition. We. About one dollar. There you go. Good. What else do we got? Uh, Eighty-five dollars for that. So I should pump action shotgun. That was zero dollars. Okay. Uh, I want to see more pistols. Most explosive pistol ever produced. Carbine repeater. All right. Well, we should be good. We got what we needed. Let me know what you want. I'll bring it out. Uh, I got you, man. You'll be back, no doubt. Now, can I uh, listen to my horse? Every time. <sighs> Auto whistling range, man. I gotta run back to my horse. Hey, look out! That queasy feeling you've been having? I think that's because there's so many O'Driscolls about. Law never seemed to find the bodies in this town. Damnedest thing. You looking to prove something here? Don't mind me, I'm leaving. How you do? Get. We'll be sure to keep a bullet warm for you. Just listen out for the accents. Listen up to the accents, okay. Well, I'm assuming I'm still not in the whistling range. Uh, 
Still not close enough. I guess I gotta be sprinting for so long. I don't wanna still. I guess I could see that horse, but. Whatever. Ooh. I was out of stamina. Let me walk. I just jog. Howdy. How do you do? I can actually greet people. Okay, who what's down here? Nothing. Okay, there's the valley. I'm sprinting. 75% level 4, nice. See where you at. Is it really worth the whistling distance? Like, where's my damn horse? Oh, there's my horse, okay. Back a little bit. I could get those deer. Ah, you know what? Now we're good. Got my horse. Long time, boy. going actually let me confirm where we are actually going and so we have that we can go to better status okay so or we can go to okay I think what we should do is head over to here Emma Granger. Let's let's go to him. Who goes there? We bought supplies, I guess. train
Where? This is the guy. No, no, please. Please call me the damn lock. Well, give me the damn key. It's a stage company lockbox. We don't got the key. <laughs> Mister, help! Hey, shut up. Get out of here. Cry! Ah! Open up on To eat, damn it. Mister, I don't hardly know what to say. Thanks, I guess. You've done me a service. Hey, look, the stage company's gonna write this off as a robbery anyway. If you can get in that lockbox, you can take what you want from it. But ain't stealing if it's already stolen. Got that right. You drop him. We'll loot him. Need a lock breaker. Oh, that's an old Driscoll. What if we should put those guys in there? What do I course have? Um, Same fine weather, ain't it? Can I put these in here? Pick up. Based on the stagecoach? No. I don't see these horses moving. Let's get on my horse. Let's keep riding our way. You know. I think we should end the, the episode with this that I'll stop right here. So hope you guys enjoy this episode. We'll be back shortly for the next episode. Take it easy.